Hey guys, this is Backlog Gaming here with another Let's Play. Kind of just doing a spotlight on a game that I've been playing a lot of lately, and that's Defense Grid 2. Um, Defense Grid 2 is a tower a defense game. Um, it's set in space, obviously, as you can see, some planets back behind me, some asteroids flying across. Now, I've been playing this game this weekend, and I thought I would just do a quick Let's Play on it, because, like, why not? Let me show you what I like about it. So, right now, I haven't beat the full campaign. Um, pretty far through. Um, they have quite a few planets here. As you can see, total of 20 missions. And you can medal on them, so you can get different medals off to the left. I don't consider something beat until I have, have it beat. So, we're going to do a pretty easy one. Um, just to kind of show you guys the overall aspect. But I want to show you guys some of the cooler type mods let's see here because we can do some pretty cool things hmm which one do I want to do Ooh, I really I did I really like this one this is one I can't seem to metal but I don't want to play that one I want to play a different one Yeah. So they serve extension. Okay. So with this, you have your difficulty, you have your type, you know, of kind of what it's going to be and, and everything like that. So we have all this information here. That's all great. Let's go to next. So with each tower, and here's all the towers. I have like the Tulsa Missile Defense, uh, checking equip priority targeting. Uh, see, now here, here I, I was trying out the Fireball with the Meteor, but I wanted to go back to Plasma Ball. It does more damage over time, so... I like that. Don't have anything for these. Now, you unlock these upgrades by random. So, there's really nothing that you can do about what you receive. You also get a special ability. So, General Kai is kind of like a laser beam. Um, you just can overcharge a turret to make it attack harder, I guess. Enables a resource. Um, enables a resource. I normally use this one. Um, but, uh, the laser beam is also pretty cool. So... Once you select what you want here and everything like that, we can go ahead and launch it. So, let's get started, guys. So, as you can see, there's going to be some audio here. Now, initially, what we want to do is... Build up some Infernos. All right. And I want to direct these guys. Yeah, I'll build a gun here. Another gun. We'll go Inferno. So you can basically choose these plots, these little squares that, that we can use. We can basically use them to do various things. So... This is kind of cool, but I want to put a temporal. So this is a slow that we're going to use. So you see we have waves come. This is a typical tower defense game. So we have waves come. We kill them. That's all dandy and everything like that. So we're going to put up a temporal, and then uh, they're going to try to go through there. So temporal slow. These these are, um, and we can zoom in here, these are fire fire guns so these are infernos i believe they're called yeah inferno so they shoot out flames now right now i have the perk where if they overlap it goes ahead and spreads that flame to the other individuals so so far we're doing good so let's put in a i want to put in a laser beam let's put in a laser right here and then we can put in another one down here So, basically, the goal is don't let them get there. That's where we don't want them to go. But, unfortunately, we're going to have a couple. But if they get there, that's not the end, of the end of the game. So, if they get to that point, again, it's not not a bad thing if, if they get there. So, let's see here. I want to build a meteor. So, we can start lobbing something at these guys. So, we kind of see it will get kind of hectic going going forward 
But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm gonna build more infernos. I do want to build here. I want to build one of these. Uh, not cannons, but the concussion. But they're 275. So there we go. There's that. And then I'm going to put a gun turret here because it's very important. And we'll put a temporal in here too. So the temporals are key. They, they slow everything. Same thing with the lasers. The laser beams will slow them. Um, kind of slow them down quite a bit. So, and we can speed this up. So I could, I could hit, I could click off of this, hit F, and then everybody goes fast. So let's put that in a temporal here. With okay. So as you're seeing, the level just changed. So here's the level now. So now if we change this, so if we go here, we put in a gun, it forces them to go up and then come back down. But we'll still be able to hit them. All right, so what I'm going to do is I normally build a temporal up here, temporal here, and then we'll have some meteors here, meteors here. And I'll also put infernos next to these with guns and a laser. Laser. We're going to take it off of, we're going to slow it down here real quick. Um, and Nah, that's gonna have two lasers. And we'll just do a gun here. So again, the goal is to not let them get there. So that's the key thing. Now we want to kind of box them in here. Um, put an inferno here, and we're gonna put a cannon here to kind of shoot. And the goal is. Another temporal in. And another laser. And an inferno. So, again, the goal is to kill the enemies before they reach. Now, the cool thing about this, oh, we should probably put it in Tulsa. They're going to basically take off the shields that we're having issues with here. So normally here, we're looking pretty good. Uh, some things that we could put here, um, meteors, lots of them, to kind of basically cover everything. And they'll kind of launch around. And then we'll come back over in here and we'll be upgrading this because I want, I want to basically force them, force them, you know, into here and we can build things all around here too so like if I wanted to build a gun I would say this is a good pair area for a gun and this is a good area for a gun so the main thing that you want to build up is the slows this is what I've come to find out that that is very helpful are these temporals. So I'll normally upgrade these. This one probably should be upgraded first since it's going to have the widest range that you're going to have here. So let's go ahead and upgrade that and you'll see it will just duck down and go ahead and pop back up and then they turn yellow. Third upgrade is going to be red. So you see how these guys are overlapping? Every time they do that, it hurts them more. Let's put another temporal in there. Upgrade that one. Upgrade that one. And we'll upgrade this one. So the special ability I have right now, I can hit L. This will activate it. Gives me more resources, which helps with upgrading. So, 
if we go ahead and put in what I want to put here. Let's put in a temporal and then a laser will also slow. And then we can put in guns here. And you'll see them start shooting. So we have different enemy types here. Uh, we'll upgrade this temple, and you'll see that NPCs will talk when they go ahead and do this. So it's fine. I guess we all agree Fletcher may have been onto something, but whenever I think I'm close to remembering it, nothing. Not I. We're gonna put in meteors here. Putting cannons here. These are like high single target hits. And then we're going to start upgrading. Since we're doing really good, nothing's really reaching. I'm pretty confident. So we'll start upgrading stuff. Putting a missile launcher. All right. So we'll kind of just let this play up. We'll fast forward here because it's taking a while. We'll kind of let those run its course. So first thing I'm going to upgrade are these temporals. We'll kind of back up and see the whole map here. So now this dude landed and he's plotting shit. So it's about to get hairy here. So let's make sure shit's upgraded. Upgrade these turrets right here. All right. And then you can see these guys, they're healing up unless they're taking damage. So they're going to be a pain in the ass, but they'll probably get squashed. This guy's probably going to make it through, though. We're not going to be able to kill him. And if we do, one of the guys is going to pick him up. So, yep, win some, lose some. I want to start upgrading these uh, Inferno Towers to get increased damage off of them. So you can see as you increase their See there being a pain. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't. This guy dies behind him. Nah, he picked it up, son of a bitch. Yeah, we need to start upgrading these. trying to burn this guy down because he's carrying a lot of crystals so we're trying to kill him hopefully we can do it and 
and we got him down. Good, we need to upgrade this temporal. suck but nothing we can do about that hopefully they're not carrying a shit ton nope one each we're fine So this is the end. This is why I'm unable to upgrade shit. So I think I did a lot better my last playthrough. Maybe, maybe not. Fletcher, are you still out there somewhere? So we're gonna have to beat it. So as you can see, then it plots it. I unlocked something chemical type bullets and inflict additional 20% damage over time as the substance slowly eats away at them. Cool. That will come in handy. Normally I just have the shield one so you kind of win schematics at random but you can kind of see it'll plot your progress now the cool thing about this is that if you have any friends and unfortunately i don't have any friends that own this game or they're not as far as i am you can kind of see how it plots your graph so the red line was my best score which was 245,000. i got 267,000. so i got bumped up i actually got unlocked this this uh silver tier so it plots your graph you can change the graph whatever you want whatever doesn't really matter you can play again or you can hit exit so if we hit exit dumps us out back here to where you can select now another cool thing is that originally they were using the steam workshop as their dlc so all those have gone over to a different site so i count that as a positive for the game and and really am glad about it so that's a plus free dlc free maps free user created maps that you can play gives you um more here we can go with tower and cycle bd kind of gives you you know the aspects of of what what shit will do when it's upgraded and how much damage it will do so these are heavy hitting look at that shit fucking attack goes through the roof when you upgrade it from two to three through the roof so these are really weak at level one but maxed out they do a lot of damage these don't do anything. They just slow. And then from there, what are these concussives? Again, they don't do a lot of damage. Uh, what else we got? We got meteors do a decent amount. Missile launchers do a incredibly larger amount. The Telsa towers do an amount. And that's all I have unlocked. You can also look up uh, Alien Encyclopedia. So this is kind of cool to kind of get detailed. Because as, as you guys seen, it wasn't very, very close when it was zoomed in and whatnot. But you can actually see now, like, what the aliens look like, you know, with some... Uh, and it even tells you their core capacity. So, like, these are these big motherfuckers that carry three cores. These are the small guys I carry two and then one. So these are like your foot shoulders. Let's see here. What else we got those Hydra ones. They look pretty cool. These guys are kind of armored, the juggernaut. So you got a lot of cool shit in here. The landing pods. These things are a bitch. Um, the racers are really fast. Regenerators, regen health. Healers. Obviously heal. And the rhino. So... Yeah, you get a lot of cool shit in here that they took the time to actually develop all these, which is kind of cool um, in itself. So you run into all these individuals. So it's kind of a cool aspect that they have those. Um, I don't know what Windborn is. Um, so from there, guys, they also have leaderboards. Again, I've been playing this game lately um, this weekend, so I thought I'd do a Let's Play. And that's it for this Let's Play, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, have a good one.